We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hang on a minute. I know what you're thinking. Why are you singing us Merry Christmas, Pete, when it's spring? I sound like Alan Partridge. <laughs> because of these. Oh, these tabby cells. This is these were my Christmas present this year from the indoors. But I haven't put them into play yet because I've been using these. These are the Heli Hansen fur lined 8 to 10 inch zip up boots. Now these have been going about what two years now? Possibly three, two I think. Um, they're starting to go a little bit by the toes. Yeah. But not bad, I've got to say. They weren't an arm and a leg. They were nowhere near as much as the boondocks, which are the boots that I loved. But you can only get them in the States. And they're crazy money. They were like, when I bought them last time, they were like 220 quid, which is a ludicrous amount of money to spend on a pair of boots. But I wore them all day, every day for two years. So they don't owe me any money. But then when I went to look at them this year, they were like three and a half, four. So I went, no. So what we're going to do is now, we're going to retire these. We're going to give them a polish and a clean and some dubbing. Ready for next year. Be the first clean I've seen in two months. Been a bit of lapse of days with that one. And we're going to go into these. These are the new, well, my new. They are still Timberland Pro, like the Boondocks, but these are called something else. I can't remember what they're called now. Um, I'll find out and I'll let you know. Maybe I'll stick it somewhere. Need me bins for that. But they've still got the, the cushiony sole thing, which is really nice. They've got a blue cushion sole in there. You're trying to buy that separately, that's not, that's not cheap. Um, but I don't know if it's as padded as the other one. It's got these kind of V things underneath it and the rubber. So they're, it's an anti-fatigue sole. Having said that, I spend most of my time sitting down the lorry anyway. They're composite on the toe. They're six inch. I kind of prefer six inch because you don't need the big ones. I mean, these enough get warm and they're, mu they're much more off and honourable. So what I'll do is we're going to give them a bit of a road test. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let, I'm going to wear them for like a month or so, do bits and pieces along the month, and at the end of it, might not be a month, I might get bored, um, I'll give you an honest assessment of what we think to the Timberland Pro, whatever they're called. Right, let's give days a go then. Okay, um, I do the turn ups on my trousers uh, after looking at, you know, being a Greg fan <laughs> because that's kind of what he does on this. Um, and also, he keeps them off the bottom of your jeans. Um, I've got to say, early impressions comfortable, they're not as often on a ball as the other ones. The other ones had sort of hooks here, that you could just go latch round. These have got the eyelets, and I've, I've got a sneaking suspicion that's going to wear more on the laces as time goes by but then the difference in price actually but other than that yeah we've seen one right just do that there give that a double knot so it doesn't come undone and there we go jeans to the top of the boots lovely right, let's give them a go okay uh, early reactions to them um they're not as warm as the other ones, but they're probably not going to be because they're kind of, uh, they're not fur lined, are they? Which you don't really want, you know, these are supposed to be my spring, summer, autumn boots. You don't want a fur line when it's going to get up to like 30 odd degrees. Um, yeah, the other ones, because they were higher up, I'd end up sort of wrapping my jeans around and tucking them in. Whereas these, the jeans sit on top of the little, the Billy Bragg turn ups, like, you know. Uh, that's more comfortable, I've got to say, you know, that the, the jeans tucked in. It means the bottom of your jeans can get dirty if you're on site. But again, that's not really an issue. Other than that, they're all, they're feeling very new. I don't know if they're quite as padded as the other ones. I think the Boondocks did have a better sole on them. But then again, for the difference in dough. 
you know, I'm driving a lorry. I'm not standing, I'm not walking around site all day. It's not a big deal, like, you know. So, um, but yeah, early rag, but they, they are comfortable. They're not, nothing's digging in on the ankle. Nothing's rubbing. You know, they've got plenty of room, got a ton of room at the bottom, but you can wiggle your toes. I could be um, a century garden these. You know, like the ones that wear the big bearskin hats and they've got the great big, um, they've got the big toe pieces, like a dome on the end of their boots. And the reason for that is because they have to stand perfectly still all day for 24 hours. It's like, even if like a tourist comes up and sort of goes, wee, in front of their face, uh, they're not allowed to move. And that's why they have the big dome, because it means they can wiggle their toes. Because otherwise, all the blood in their uh, legs falls apart and, and they go to sleep. Why is everything going right? That's not right, I don't know what's going on. Um, yeah, but no, so early reactions, they're perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, perfectly comfortable pair of boots. Right, that's my first one in. They've got my details, that's lovely. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Lewis today. I've got to take a load of pallets down to Lewis. Um, packaging, which is nice because packaging is light. So I said, do you want me to bait? They said, no, we can load you from the side. So I'm going to open up the side and get this on now. That's it, all loaded, seven pallets, nice and light. Seven and a half tonne job, isn't it? Um, ready to hit the road. I'll tell you about the boots on the way. Okay, right, I've had my first proper go at them now. Walk around, had to walk around the warehouse to get the uh, paper, and to, um, you know, walk around with doing the straps, doing the things. I, I think I might have been a little bit um, overcritical with the bouncy. I've got to say, they are very comfortable. They are springy. I, I dare say that they probably are as springy as the boondocks were. Um, if not, certainly not far off it to make a difference. Uh, there is plenty of room in these boots. I've got to say, if you've got wide feet, if you've got fat feet or something like that, you will have room. If you want to wear two pairs of socks, or thick socks, or raving thick socks, you will have room. If you've got thin feet, you might find them rattling around a bit. My feet are kind of normal. They're not wide, they're not thin, they're just kind of feet. Uh, but yeah, they're comfortable. I, they, in fairness, while I was walking around the warehouse, walking up with a guy, I thought to myself, this is kind of like wearing a pair of trainers. Uh, like I say, not as warm as the other ones because it's still quite cold out here, bearing in mind the fact that we're kind of in March now. But um, not cold by any means. Besides, I keep saying, I'm not on site. I reckon that if you were on site and you decided to buy these boots for all year round, you would be fine. Thick pair of socks and these boots, as I remember my dad saying to me once, we were standing on the market, my dad had a punch on for wearing mine. And um, it was cold. But we've been standing, you stand, you stand up all day, you don't move, you stand up all day. And I said to my dad, I says, Ain't your feet cold? And he turned around and went, What feet? Truth of the matter is, unless you're wearing moon boots, like the Neil Armstrong heated stand on the moon boots, not like the furry yeti things we used to get in the 80s. If your feet are going to get cold, they're going to get cold. 
and there ain't an awful lot you can do to stop it. You can get heated socks, electric socks, foot warmers. They tend to be more trouble than they're worth. You're better off just a decent pair of waterproof warm boots, thick socks, and keep moving. But like I say, I like these these ones because these are not my winter boots. They're not my full-time boots. These are my nine months, and these will be the only pair of boots that I wear, literally. I will wear them at weekends when I go and do the driver's car. I'll stick them on to go down the shop because they happen to be by the door. I find myself in a situation where I've got a wardrobe full of boots and trainers and shoes that I never ever wear because I've got one pair of boots. So these boots are gonna have to do the trick and early signs say they're gonna be just fine. It just occurred to me there'll be a few people out there that are watching this because they're watching it because they want to see what the boots are like. I mean, well, hang on a second. Why have you got a pair of like steel toe tensor composite, in this case, toe tensor boots, when you drive a truck all day? What's going to fall on your feet? The steering wheel? You know? The truth of the matter is, although I drive a lorry and sometimes they're short jobs, sometimes they're long jobs, sometimes I've got to be here for five hours, sometimes very little time at all, maybe half hour. A lot of the time the, when we collect and when we drop off, we're in distribution centres. You can be in distribution centres, you can be on site, like building sites, stuff like that, certain other places, which will require PPE. So when you go into these places, they will require you to have some, like sites want a hard hat, certainly high-vis coat, or high-vis um, tabardy type thing, and steel toe cap boots or trainers or composite. So the first ones I had, I had the Timberland, um, I did a video on this, or the best work videos. I had the Timberland Steels, they were a bit tight, and Steels can get cold in the winter, and Steels just aren't as comfortable. Then we went on for the kind of the rigger boots, which are fine, they're very often on a ball, which is handy in the summer if you want to kick them off. Um, but ultimately, I went down the boots room. Um, the truth of the matter is in the summer sometimes if it is really hot, I will take them off. Um, you can just, I mean a lot of the drivers drive in sliders, I don't really, I really like sliders, I'm, you know. I, if anything you really want to kick them off and I'd rather drive them with socks, the truth of the matter is. I'm always frightened them sliders going to catch and you go for the brake and that's not a good idea. Um, or fall off and jam underneath one of the pedals when you go for the brake. But I mean the other thing is you can have is, um, you, you can buy the composite trainers, but to be honest with you, with these kind of boots, I've always been okay. You can put the cold air on when you're in, in, in the summer. You know, you sort of it's not so painful. And I just and also, should anything ever happen, I kind of like the idea that I'm all ready to spring out, like you know. So, but that's why, despite the fact that I drive, for example, the place I just went to, normally sometimes I might be picking up. Um, from a small industrial unit, going to a small industrial unit, no one's wearing uh, PPE, no one requires PPE. That day I can spend in trainers, or I can spend in the other Timberlands, be, be sort of be, be going out Timberlands, be six inch, um, you know, the normal Timberland standard boot that I've got, I was married every birthday a little while ago. Um, don't get a chance to wear it once I wear these at the time. Um, but it's not just a matter of being on site, the PPE makes sense. You know, say for example that you are on the back strapping down steel and one of the girders shifts and lands on your foot and you go, oh, and then you go, oh, that's right, I've got my toe sensors on, not a problem, as opposed to, oh, I'm off work for six months while my foot gets better. So that's why, despite the fact I'm not, I'm not required necessarily, I don't need it for insurance or anything like that, to wear PPE all the time, I still wear PPE all the time. No, I don't put the, um, the thing on when you're driving, because why would you choose to drive around in what is effectively a bin liner? Well, we're nearly there now. Um, I've been driving for, yeah, I'll check my clock. Uh, uh, three hours and six minutes. So, half an hour to pick it up, been on the road for two and a half hours, but still comfortable. No rubbing. No sort of, uh, yeah, no, no sort of pinchy bits. You get a pinchy bit sometimes, like a bit of the afterwork. Oh, hang on, there we go. Hang on.
that's new. Oh, I'll wear it in. Yeah, no, they're pretty much come very worn in. Uh, I've got a job for the morning, so I'm in Brighton, and I've got to try and get from Brighton, and I've got to get back to base tonight because I've got this job in the morning. So there's a chance, there's a decent chance I probably tomorrow's job is worth money. So if I don't get a second job today, it's not the end of the world. But it means that you may not see an awful lot. I may not do an awful lot of walking around in these boots today. So day one in the boots. I'm going to be spending quite a lot of it sitting down, but then what I'll do obviously is kind of um, I'll do some kind of follow up video three months down the line, six months down the line, and um, yeah, let you know how I'm getting on. But yeah, now we're going to be tipping in just under 10 minutes, so we'll see how they get on then. Right, we're in the right place. No forks, this one's coming off of the tail. No problem. Well, that's me all delivered. Uh, we had a couple of impromptu tests in there, which I uh, wasn't expecting. Uh, number one, the rain test. Admittedly, it's more of a shower test, because you're on the grounds, it started chucking it down with rain when I was starting to pull the pallets off. Um, again, mostly toasty, super warm and dry. But then they would be, they're brand new out of the box. You'd expect absolutely nothing less. I had a cheap pair of boots. So it's not like that's any great wonder. And obviously after about two, three months, that could be a different story, couldn't it? And number two, one of them pallets seemed to be stuck underneath. And because they were raving light, I managed to put my boot under, drag it all the way around. No problem. Didn't even feel it was there. No pains, no digging in, totally protected. So all in all, so far, the boots are a success. Is it one way? Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, as uh, time goes on, we'll, um, remains to be seen. But I'm off to try and find my second job now. But if I don't get my second job, then that was the first run on the boots. I will keep you updated. Well, we're on at 25 now. Job didn't come in, didn't think it would to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about it. the boots are still going. Well, I'm now in driving for another hour, it was about three and a half hours this morning, four and a half hours. Still absolutely fine, still comfortable, still no problems at all. Not hot or anything like that. Maybe feet starting to feel them a little bit. Maybe it's only much as you would feel any any shoe if you've been sitting at the end of the day, like you know. Um, I was thinking about why, why the boots kind of thing and I think it's just because we've all got outfits that we're comfortable in um, I mean when I was a kid well okay when I was a kid when I was like in my late teens early 20s I studied I was a student so I wore DMs because all, all students wear DMs we're conformist in our non-conformity and then when I jumped into doing this I tried the DMs again but they don't seem to be the most comfortable work boots um, 
they're always in fairness, I've tried Martin subsequently and they're not the most comfortable boots. The kind of boots you've really got to wear in. Um, so you kind of think, well, why? Oh, let's just make a pair of boots comfortable to start with, and then it goes. And then I kind of, I, I, I adopted, I ended up dressing like a child. Probably my favourite outfit is a blue t-shirt, Levi's, jeans, and a pair of boots. My first ones, like the six inch boots, I had a pair of caterpillars, um, but they were jackals. They were ones I got off Bob in the market, they cost me a pony. Uh, because, well, oh, this was 1993 and I was just out of college and didn't have any money. Besides, I used to be a scumbag market trader, that's what we do. And I, you know, I say, and you know, we've all got outfits like your armour. Take your armour, they do that with the SAS, don't they? And the first thing they do when they take them in is interrogation, put them in paper pajamas. And they put them in, and then suddenly, as soon as you take away all your, your gear, it don't feel the same. And my armour is six inch boots, jeans, t-shirt, sweatshirt, coat. You know, I'm, I'm kind of happy in that kind of stuff, like, you know? Um, and then eventually, as time goes by, you do manage to get a few quid. I managed to upgrade myself to a pair of, they just like the classics, aren't they? The Timberland six inch, which are the one you see, I mean, they don't like you do variations, but just the standard Timberland boot. It normally comes in sort of like yellow, um, kind of like a suede, which you can never work out. Because if you're wearing it, the, the, the original work boot, why make it yellow? First thing it's going to do is turn black. The second you kneel down or something, it's going to turn black. Make it black. That way at least you can polish it. But they are what they are. And then, I suppose, these are... Um, oh, yeah, so that's fine. That's taking it. Uh, these are the equivalent of those boots. But they're sight ready. So they're just me, again, in my jeans, it's not blue the t shirt, no, it's green. But jeans, t shirt, boots, there's my armour, I'm good to go. And yeah, these are, these are comfortable. I mean, I do, I do, I, I rate them. I wouldn't say the pair of trainers are going to work for me just once. But on the whole, they work for me. And another thing, I mean, the missus will always, um, she will, if she finds something, she'll try and find something different or better or unusual. If I find something that works for me, I stick with it. I can't see why you spend waste of life. Don't get me wrong, unless it's cheaper or unless it's kind of... Um, and sometimes you might, might jump out and you go, actually, no, that does a trick. But, um, no, I'm happy. On the whole, I'm happy. We've still got another hour and a half worth of driving left to go. Unless the job picks up, it's getting late now. And I've got one in the morning, I can't take the risk. So I'll let you know what it's like when we get back to the yard. And here we are, nearly back at the yard. I've been driving now for two hours 20. We turn two and a half hours probably pretty much by the time I get back. Once again, boots still fine. Uh, a little bit warm. They, they, they warm up after a while, a little bit pinchy around the top, a little bit, tight, not even so you'd notice, um, they'll come in for breaking in. And one thing also I will say, um, is more grip. I presume that that's because they're brand new and they've got this kind of, I'll show you, I'll take them off and show you. Not right now, I'm driving. Um, and they've got kind of like, like a V, uh, like a step thing on the bottom and that seems to work on the pedals quite well so yeah on the whole um today's review of a day in the life of the new timberland boots timberland ballast whatever they're called um yeah they're pretty good so far so good i mean one one swallow does not a summer make you know it's only day one what are they going to be like after day 100 or hopefully if they're anything like the others day 600 because they did go on um which is a good thing you spend that kind of money on boots you want to last. Um, yeah, we'll let you know. We will do it. Watch your space. We'll do you a running commentary. In the meantime, it's still raining. Didn't get a second job. Wasn't expecting to. Time to take the truck back to the yard.
Right, here we are back at the funny farmstead. Sorry about that, the uh, the phone went just as halfway through taking my boots off, so if it, if it comes across as two, it's because I had to stop the video to answer the phone. It's a job, so I take jobs, don't you? So yeah, that's it. That's the day one in the Timberland Pro, what are they called, ballast? There you go, Timberland Pro ballast. Covers it toe cap. Um, Six inch boot, very often on the ball. These things here, that like I said this morning, where they kind of have the bit that loops around and these ones go through, they come off no problem. I did wonder if he's gonna to have to undo the first bit to get them off and then do them up. No, that's not a problem. You've got your cushioned um, inside uh, tongue there with the breathable bits on it. You've got the blue bit on the inside, that's the anti-fatigue sole. As I said, I kind of remember these being jaggedy bits, but they're not. That's the bottom sole. Plenty of grip when you're driving. They are a decent boot. They're not the cheapest. They're probably not the most expensive. They're probably not the best. But for what I want, uh, they're perfect. They've also got this funny loopy thing on the back here, which I'm hoping that as time goes by, because at the moment it's new, so it's a bit shut. As time goes by, that will open up a little bit, making them more off and honourable. We like that. Uh, but yeah, um, so far I'm happy, like I say. That's, that's just day one, though. I'll let you know how it goes after about six months. See how they're wearing, see how they break in, see how comfortable they are. See how easy they make it for me to take care and take money. <laughs> Thank you.